Hey, I'm Natalia from NataliaRay.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make video ads for Facebook and Instagram in Canva for free. And this is the video ad that we're going to be creating. As you can see, a simple free training invite. Right, so you first have the what this training is about, which is how to start a fashion brand on TikTok, and then you have the time and sign up button, and that's it. A very, very simple video ad, but a very, very effective one. And the best part is that you can create a bunch of these in like under five minutes, and I'm gonna show you how in a second in only three simple steps. So before we begin, you wanna make sure that you have a Canva account, which you can get one for free in attireway.com forward slash Canva. And the reason why I'm giving you my link is because through my link, you can actually get a free trial to the pro version of Canva, which is absolutely amazing. I use it every single day and it saves me so much time on my business. So I truly recommend that you will consider using the pro account simply because it will save you a bunch of time and will allow you to do things that you simply cannot do with the regular account, right? So let's start with step number one. In step number one, you just wanna open a blank Canva design. And before I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that, let's talk about sizes, right? So you have a couple of different popular sizes that you can use for your video ad. The first one is a square ad, and the second one is a vertical video, which is a little bit taller than the square ad. But my recommendation is always use the square ad simply because for square ads, you can put them both on desktop ads, meaning people that are using their laptop as well as the mobile ads. Whereas if you're going to choose the vertical ad, you're simply going to be able to do this on mobile users, right? And in general, I'm just going to recommend you to stay updated on size changes in the future. So simply copy this link that you have on your screen right now, because this is the place where Facebook essentially keeps us updated on any changes to their ads. So in order to do this, I'm at the Canva homepage right now. I'm going to click on create a design and in order to find a size that I'm looking for, in this case is a square video ad. I'm just going to look for a Facebook video. And as you can see, Facebook video 1080 on 1080, which is the exact size that I'm looking for. I'm going to click and as you can see, Canva has already opened up the interface of the video editor for me, which is slightly different than the image editor because it has this thing here on the bottom. Now, step number two, now that you have your blank Canva design ready, step number two is to choose a design. And my recommendation is to never, ever, ever design a video ad from scratch unless you are professional at this and you've been doing this for years. In that case, you have experience and you know what works. My recommendation is either choose one of the templates that Canva has here on the left. As you can see, they have a bunch of templates for video ads that you can use or a much better proposal that I have is to simply model an ad from a creator that you know is doing an amazing job and is highly profitable and is great in video ads, simply choose an ad similar to the one that you want to create and simply model it. It will save you a bunch of time and you will make sure that your ad will be effective even before you create it, right? Because even though Canva's designs are really, really gorgeous looking, they're not proven. I do not know whether they're effective or not versus if I'm just going to follow up and model a creator that I know is making serious profits on Facebook ads, my chances of success are that much higher, right? So step number two, we chose a design and let's say that I simply want to model the design that I've already showed you that we're going to be creating. So I already have it created right here, but I'm simply going to create it from scratch and show you how I go about this. And now step number three is to edit your ad. So as said before, I'm simply going to be modeling this ad that I've already created on a blank screen to show you exactly how I do this. So the first thing that I want to add here is obviously the background image. So I'm going to head over to elements here on the left side menu and type in backgrounds. In Canva, we'll have a bunch of different backgrounds for me to use. Every single, single background that you see that has this crown on it means that it will be paid if you have a free Canva account, but you can use it for free if you have a pro account, which I have. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose this background image because it's the one that we have for our example. And now that I have my background ready, it's time to start adding the text. So I'm gonna start from the top from these live thingies. So I'm gonna go to text. And I'm going to scroll down to see if you have this prepared because I use a lot of the, their templates already. As you can see, the pizza party is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just going to delete the party and add live here. Delete the rest. 
and add live a few more times. I think it's written three times in my ad. So I have it three times here, and then I'm gonna make it a lot smaller to make sure that it fits into my screen. Yeah. Okay, so I have the live right here. Next, I have this cell phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back into elements. And the next thing that I want to be looking for is frames. See all. And frames are essentially um, elements that have a particular background that you can change every single time. But the shape of the element is going to be set in stone. So in this case, I'm going to look for a phone. As you can see, I have all of my phones right here. And I've just placed my phone exactly where the video ad is at. And let's add an image to my phone. So I'm going to search for an image of a woman. Just for the sake of this example, let me put this one. And as you can see, as I drag and drop it, it immediately shows up exactly as I want it inside my phone, which is the um, exact idea behind creating these frames. Next thing I need is to say free training. So let's add a text. Free training. The text is black and is also all caps. So here under the three dots, I'm going to choose this and I'm going to make it slightly bigger. And I think it's two lines actually, right? So let's make it like this. Free training. And I'm going to make the line spacing a little bit closer together. Okay, cool. So we already have that. And the next thing that we want to create is how to start a fashion brand on TikTok. So I'm going to edit here. Paste how to start a fashion brand on TikTok. I'm going to make the text obviously bigger. Look like this. Okay, this is good. This one, we can actually make it bold. So that it will be easier to see. Okay, already a good start. Make this slightly smaller. And that's pretty much it. Okay, awesome. Now let's move on to the second slide. I'm just going to duplicate this one. And as you can see, the first one doesn't have this text here, so I'm just going to delete it. And the second one does. Perfect. Now the third one has the January 1st, yada, yada, and a button. So I'm going to duplicate that again and simply replace this text with the times. Oops wasn't copy well. Paste. Okay, cool. Put it here. And the last thing that I want to add is a call to action button. So I'm going to get back to elements and look for a button. And let's say that I chose this one. And for the color, I want it to be aligned with this to make sure that it's compatible. So I'm going to click on plus to choose the color and um, choose the color picker. Because in that case, I can be very, very precise in my design. Perfect. And the button is already here. And what is the text that I have on it? Sign up free. So I'm quickly going to add the text. Paste. Sign up free. Make it bigger. Does it have like a different font? Yes, it has the Poppins font. And also the text is white and bolded. So I'm just going to make it white, bold it, and bam. So I already have the ad kind of sort of ready. The only thing that's missing is the animations. Because if you're going to look at my example, I'm going to hit play. As you can see, there are animations here. So let me show you exactly how I do these things. So I'm going to get back to my ad. And let's see the first screen. I want it to be like a pair, like as a, you see, it's kind of like a club like. So what I want to do is I want to mark the entire slide and click on animate. And then you can simply choose the animation type that you want to use. In this case, 
as you can see, there are like a bunch of different things that you can do in Canva will simply animate everything. And you can either animate every single element separately or all of them combined, which is a much faster method. So I'm gonna choose my neon. And for the amount of time that it actually takes, as you can see in my ad, it's only one second. So this particular slide will only be one second long. Cool. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one has this text, how to start a fashion brand on TikTok, actually written down. Right, so I'm just gonna mark this text, click on animate, and then I'm gonna choose the typewriter. Amazing. Now, the question is how much time this is going to take. So in Canvas case, the second slide is three seconds long. So let me choose this animation and again, mark three seconds. Cool. Now the last one is four seconds long. As you can see, only the button is animated as well as the image on the phone. So I'm going to animate the button, click animate. And again, the neon thingy. And I'm going to animate this phone thingy for like photo zoom. Okay. And this one is actually four seconds. So I'm going to change it to four. And already, if I'm going to go to the top and click play, you can see my ad is created. I just love this because it's so easy to do. And now the only thing that's left for me to do is to just download the ad. So I'm going to click on share, download as an MP4 video, and I'm going to choose all of the pages to download the entire ad and click on download. It's going to take just a few seconds for Canva to actually render the video and make sure that it's prepared. So let's wait for that. And by the time it's done, Canva will ask you, where do you want to save your video? I'm going to call it Facebook ad complete, click enter, and the ad has been downloaded into my computer. So I'm simply going to go into my downloads file. And if I'm going to double click on the ad, you will see it here. I just love this. Okay. And obviously very, very easily. Can I make variations of this ad, different colors for this ad, try different images, try different calls to action. Maybe instead of how to start a fashion brand on TikTok, I'm going to write something like become a top brand designer or something like that to just experiment and see what is working well. So I hope this video on how to make video ads for Facebook and Instagram on Canva has been helpful. If you have any ads that you've created as a result of this video, please let me know. Comment below and tag me. I want to see your ads and please let me know how they're performing as well. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, yeah, bye.